And I was like, eh, 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 oh, 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 you were like, eh, 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 no, oh, no, oh, I was like, eh, 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 oh, 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 you were like, eh, 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 eh. Greetings, Star Citizens. I'm Joel Ellis, otherwise known as Jacob L's in game. And uh, this video is going to be slightly different from my past videos, as it will not be uh, related to what you're seeing on the uh, screen right now. Basically, it's not going to be a how-to video. It has the title in first. It's going to be a commentary about uh, the Polaris hangar. Now, this uh, issue is uh, brought up to me uh, just a couple of days ago uh, in a video that I saw uh, produced by Minion Soldier um, on YouTube. And uh, this uh, video was of his was actually in response to a Spectrum post that he saw uh, on the Spectrum uh, uh, blog with on uh, the RSA website. And the actual post, I'm going to go back to that here, um, was uh, sent, put together by Sense Amid Madness, uh, posted on June 17th, so it's been a while, up there for a little while. And the, the question it posed would be, was, uh, would the Polar Polaris be better off without the hangar. As he said, uh, his argument is that the Polaris is a capital ship killer, so it won't be looking for big targets, so it will be looking for big targets such as Idris frigates, Hull D, plus uh, Orion's frigates, Vandal, uh, Vandal Origin, or just large ships in general. So what's the point of wasting all that space for one measly fighter? Some people have pointed to like 40% of the ship's space is used, is used to uh, house that, that hangar. What difference is one fighter going to have up against such big ships? Why not scrap the hangar and put a railgun? I know this is, that is pretty, pretty ambitious, but even an S5 turret and with maybe another turret of more anti-fighter missiles on the bottom would be nice. What do you all think? So, um, Minion Soldier made his response, um, and I'm going to paraphrase it right here. Hopefully he won't take offense to the way I uh, characterize it. But uh, what he, his first point was that uh, uh, the original poster was uh, underestimating the utility of having the hangar. Uh, one, the, Example that Minion Soldier used was uh, taking a Hornet-sized craft, basically a Hornet Ghost with a tracker's tracking dome, and uh, using that as kind of a scout ship, a kind of stealthy scout ship. And what it does is it gives the uh, Polaris uh, beyond visual range capability to target and attack uh, enemy ships. So um, definitely a positive that we that we can def definitely relate to. Um, the other th thing that uh, Minion Soldier did he was kind of uh, partially agree with the original poster saying that by saying that it might be beneficial to making this hangar modular so if people who don't want the uh, hangar they could modify it with some other different modules kind of the uh, Minion Soldier kind of pointed to a possible troop module or a module holding extra torpedoes or or a well just a weapon module kind of along the lines of the original poster generally however minion soldier did not see a the hangar as a weakness um, since it definitely gave the Polaris added capabilities over other ships so my critique of minion soldiers video is that is this um, I agree with his arguments, but I also realize that um, he uh, missed a very significant point in his argument in that he accepted part of the original poster's uh, statement and assertion with the one measly fighter statement, um, basically saying, accepting that only one uh, fighter or one ship could fit in that hangar and uh, I know where this comes from it also is in the brochure that the hangar is designed to hold one light fighter and the uh, the concept art shows either one gladius or one 
saber uh, coming up from from the uh, hangar deck. So, uh, well, either in it or coming up. So, um, the the bias is out there that this thing, that the Polaris, can only carry one fighter. Well, that's where I want to take this uh, question and actually refute that idea wholly. Um, and so the question is, can the Polaris carry more than one craft at a time? And uh, to answer this question, I uh, used a couple of sources. Uh, the first one being, of course, the uh, uh, Polaris brochure that was put out by CIG uh, during the concept sale, where it had uh, some pictures of the schematics on a couple of pages. And uh, the other one being a uh, ship size comparison chart that uh, is uh, periodically put out on the uh, Star Citizen Reddit, Reddit pages. Um, uh, put together by a couple of guys, goes by super, pseudonyms of YT O and Sebman. And um, crucially, it does uh, show the uh, Polaris and it crucially. Well, more crucially, shows all the other uh, ships relative in their relative scale. So, um, doing that, I was able to basically um, cut out uh, the cut out one of the schematics from the brochure, uh, kind of size it up to the uh, size of the uh, um, Polaris here in this ship size uh, chart. And uh, then uh, basically uh, get a get a reference uh, on uh, what could actually fit in the, the hangar based on the schematic. Um, but first thing I really had to do was actually convince myself that uh, this ship size comparison chart was in fact accurate. Because uh, one of the things I did by uh, I compared a couple of ships in there to their rel relative size, namely the uh, Buccaneer versus the Aurora. Uh, these are two ships that I uh, currently own now. And uh, one thing I remember from the um, from the RSI website was that the uh, in the comparison the. Aurora is actually supposed to be long or shorter than the uh, Buccaneer. It shows that the Aurora is 18 and a half meters, whereas the Buccaneer is a full 20 meters. So this required some in-game uh, 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 photo and video capture, where and I had to convince myself that, well, surprise, the ship stats page is not accurate, and the actual Buccaneer is shorter than the uh, Aurora. So led me to believe that the actual comparison chart is correct. So with that I just went to work and uh, saw what ships uh, could would actually fit in the uh, uh, Polaris hair hangar based on uh, the relative relative sizes. And of course uh, went and looked at the uh, Sabre and of course that uh, fits just one. Uh, the Hurricane, yep, it's only going to fit one in there. Um, let's see what else we've got. Surprisingly, the Mustang, only one will fit in that hangar. Uh, even despite it being such a small ship, it apparently it's with all those uh, wings and uh, everything protruding out of it uh, kind of takes up a lot of area. Um, a prospector, single prospector will fit in there so those of you with the mining interests this could be great for uh, scouting, finding the uh, other distant planets, seeing if there are resources, possible means of making money with the uh, Polaris. Um, of course, a Gladius will be just one. That's been pretty much confirmed in the art. And so um, now here's where it gets interesting. Um, we knew the Auroras were kind of thin ships, so um, may have not been too surprising that maybe that two Auroras could possibly 
fit inside the uh, uh, Polaris. Um, even more interesting, if you want to get creative with how you arrange your ships, well, I was able to get uh, two Avengers in there. And not two great fighters, but they also have uh, uh, cargo ca capabilities. Um, something near and dear to my heart, the Buccaneers. You can do in much the same arrangement as get two uh, Buccaneers in the, in the hangar. Um, 385Xs. Uh, what else? A uh, couple of hull A's. So you can deep space uh, hauling there, I guess. This is what I really liked was uh, you could possibly get four, or maybe five uh, M50s. Now these are some, they're built as racers, but they're pretty handy interceptors as well. And put a couple of size two repeaters on those, each one of them, and uh, you, got a, you got a fighter wing there. Um, same with uh, some Merlins. Uh, from what I can see, you can get five of them in there. Uh, and if you're really into the cargo hauling, you get about the same number of Argos. Or that could also be your troop transport version. So, um, there you have it, folks. Um, I think that pretty much answered the question. The Polaris can carry multiple ships. Um, and you, they're going to be smaller ships, but will definitely enhance the capabilities of the Polaris, having a, maybe a small fighter group or cargo group or what have you. So, uh, not much else to say. I uh, just hope you all found this video uh, informative and just hope to see you all in the verse uh, very soon. So, well, stay tuned.